Wherever you get your podcast, get live from my office because there you just click back one show. I mean, we got the Dave Barry podcast up now. But just last week, I was talking to my friend Nick DeGilio, who's here. It's awesome. Hi. Nick D. Hi. Brand Woo! new, brand new Nick D. Thank podcast. you very much. Thank you. Is, very much. uh, up today. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know how that happens. Every time I come in here, there's a new podcast. <laughs> I think it's just luck. I think it is. Uh, yeah, today's podcast, um, uh, Jim Ryan is my guest. He is a music journalist who writes for Forbes and the Daily Herald, and he goes to a lot of concerts uh, and tells me about that and also interviews a bunch of people. Uh, what are you talking really about great, with great. a music critic? Um, a we music talked guy. about, uh, he talked with uh, Stone Gossard from Pearl Jam. He interviewed him. He interviewed... Um, Bob Mould about uh, the Lynn Bramer uh, concert that they did ah, uh, at the Metro uh, and much more. And then Esmeralda, uh, who is my partner, and I talk about a bunch of stuff. And we talked about weird celebrity rumors or sort of like, um, uh, um, you know, like, like, uh, uh, what's, what's like the stuff gossip, when we were kids? Kind of gossipy. Gossipy, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, uh, uh, like uh, Rod yeah. Stewart's stomach oh, and things man. like that. Yeah. That's the first uh, one, man. Oh. Of course. Oh, well, yeah. That's the first one. Like Rod Stewart, yeah, yeah. we won't get into it, but Rod no, Stewart. Won't. But we also, uh, we mentioned about that there, there is, uh, um, rumors about like that Stevie Wonder, in fact, is not blind. Well, that's a fact. Oh. Yeah. No, it is. Oh, no. How is that yeah. a fact? That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, I know, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. anytime an optometry question comes up, you're our guy. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it, it's uh, I guess there was, there was something happened like years ago because, you know, whenever something weird happens, people will latch onto it and make up some stupid rumor or something like that. And the, and the, and the fact that like people were running around saying that Stevie Wonder wasn't blind and that it was an act <laughs> was because I guess he and Paul McCartney were at a press conference or something many years ago. I mean, it's gotta be the eighties because that's when. The girl is mine and Ebony and Ebony Ivory, and Ivory came yeah. out at that time. And they were at a press conference and I guess like Paul knocked a microphone over and Stevie caught it. Oh, and clearly then he spake back up. And that's clearly. the thing. It's like he caught the microphone as it fell and then put it back up and everyone's like, Ooh, we caught him. He's not blind. Oh, <laughs> there was the internet back then. Woo. Yeah. So, that's so wow. funny. Thank that's what the internet's being used for better purposes. <laughs> yeah. though. Uh, also, um, you know, the rock thing, the rock writer thing, before I forget. Yeah. Um, I just stumbled on a, uh, a stream worthy series. Uh, I like Ron Livingston. I think he's a very funny oh, guy, a very, very good actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very Super funny. talented. And the Fairley brothers, uh, produced a show from like 2017 to 2020. It's called Louder Milk. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Louder Milk is Ron Livingston's the lead character and he's bitter. And he's angry and he's a recovering addict and he's had some horrible things happen in his, in his life. And he encounters a bunch of people that he sort of accidentally helps and then intentionally helps. And it's just, it's a very it's a well show. written, well paced show. And after the writers and actors strike is over, they're going to try to get it back together. But you know, the cast goes on, does other things, has other commitments. So hopefully they'll do it. But I recommend Louder Milk just Louder based milk, on two or three yeah. episodes that I've seen so far. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a, it's, it's a good and show. And he plays a rock writer, which is, and I'm wondering if, uh, if Jim, my good friend Jim Ryan, um, has ever seen. Oh, you know who else is in that, by the way? And that surprised me. John, you'll appreciate this. Brian Regan. Brian Regan really? is in the AA group and is this completely clueless, uh, father, uh, and a bad father. Um, and he does a nice job. Isn't that amazing? Cause we've always talked about that. He just, there hasn't been a vehicle for him. Yeah. They've never found something for like him. Like a lead yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah. His yeah. show, something, or yeah. even a, you know, something. But and no. here's what a professional Brian Regan is. Brian Regan, when he would come in and do my show for forever, for years and years and years, whenever he comes in, he got a little notebook he carries with him. And he goes back, he looks in the notebook and the second or third time he did it, I went, what are you doing? He goes, I just want to see what I did last year. And make sure I don't make similar references. Oh, really? Like the wow. audience, like the audience oh. would be tracking Whoa. with it. Yeah. So that's either really professional or crazy or a little of both. I think it's a little of both. Yeah. I do that with clothes. I want to make sure I'm not wearing the you same thing that I did the last time I saw you guys. Same here. Yeah. You know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great different golf shirt. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Nice new color gray. Uh, I appreciate you know, <laughs> noticing. <laughs> Um, and it's actually maroon. Hello. Oh, sorry. I didn't, I'm sorry. But by the way, also we have to, we talk about the rumor that Cher had four ribs removed. Just four. Yeah. I do remember that rumor. Yeah. I do not. Cher Wait, had four Cher? ribs removed. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I thought that it was going to be, uh, Marilyn Manson. I thought that was the thing. Cher had Marilyn Manson removed? <laughs> I'd like to have no, Marilyn Manson removed versa. if that's possible. Mm. Yeah. I don't, what's the, I don't know the Marilyn Manson one. Is it, <sighs> can we not Boy, say it? That he had ribs removed? 
Yeah, that he had ribs removed so that he could. Um, he should have had talent added. added. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> and then tough. wasn't there the rumor that he was really Paul from the Wonder Years? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Look at this rabbit hole that we've gone down. <laughs> yeah, Where have we gone? Well, from the Wonder Years. All right, so the Nick D podcast is up. What about that show hasn't been funny in years? That show hasn't been funny in years is the SNL podcast that I do, and uh, that goes up every Wednesday. The latest ish- issue? Wow. Boy, episode? Going, episode is uh, about... Um, oh, my God, because I just taped one, so wait, I just got to make sure. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's hosts who are so good that they have recurring characters. Oh, okay. So it's about hosts who come in, not cast members. You know, every cast member right, has like right. a recurring character yeah. with a catchphrase. They write them all the time. These hosts uh, actually have recurring characters that they play almost every time that they come back and host. Okay, cool. Oh, it's a, you, know, okay. you know, you have the five timers club. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Where, where like all the, you know, like the hosts that have, you know, uh, hosted more than five times and they're in the five timers club, but there's a more exclusive club and that is hosts who have great recurring characters. Oh. You know, and, and, and I apologize. I, was coming back from Dayton, Ohio, with Pat That's, McGann. I, you don't have to apologize for coming back from Dayton, no, Ohio. No, you do. Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> but our, we did one sold out show, and we were we were done at like uh, seven thirty, but six thirty our time. And I'm driving home, and I it hit me when I got to Indianapolis. That was my go to to listen to you, on when I would come home from shows. Oh, his podcast. Uh, yeah, well, oh. yeah. And, no, you when I was on the car wash. Yes, yes. yes. I was on the car And I, yeah. it, it hit me like, oh, man. I really miss that. And I, that is absolutely It took sincere. you three years to figure that out? Yeah. 14 years. <laughs> 14. I think. But you can listen to the podcast. No, no. Now you can no, listen to the podcast. Been, I've been canned three years ago. I know, ago, so I, I, no, no, you know, no, I, I know. <laughs> but it, it somehow it just was, well, usually it's a your weekend. It was a weekend, yeah. so normally. Well, you're going way back. Yeah, so you like, six yeah. days for a while. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, I I would do that even when I was uh, coming home in a day, like a weekday. But last night, I thought that's what hit me. I'm like, oh man, that got me through a lot. Oh, that was I'm, a well, great ride. Well, th- <laughs> John, he has this thing called a podcast, a podcast now so you can that listen you can to it listen anytime. to. I don't, it. I don't know what those are. Podcasts. Yeah, I don't know what those no, are. We'll, we'll talk about it in the car. <laughs> um, <laughs> But in the meantime, get those wherever oh. you get your podcasts. Yeah, the radiomisfits.com is where you can get the two podcasts and uh, everywhere else where you hey, can get them. quick follow-up from a texture 708. Brett Bear's not coming on your pathetic-ass show. Hey, uh, on uh, Tom, on my pathetic-ass show, Brett Bear, he's been on a number of times. Is he coming back on my pathetic-ass show? At some point, yes. And are we going to subtitle it? I know we've put, we've, we've focus grouped this. We're going to call it Steve Cochran's pathetic-ass show. Are we doing that or not? I mean, we're thinking about pathetic any number of adjectives Bo- so. body parts so yeah, yeah. for you just seven take away. Off steve cochran show yeah and then just put that on i think a that I, I, is, is that was this listener just being timely because of what the procedure you had yesterday um no i think they were just being kind of a dick okay because uh, pathetic, uh, <laughs> pathetic ass. did the doctor yeah. say that to you yesterday he said man you got a pathetic ass did he no, say that to actually, you no he actually would be he was more professional than that oh, thank yeah. god the texter was your doctor come on come on Look not even positive. close uh, let's see. It's uh, 745. We do a traffic update. We'll come back. There are movies to talk about. Unfortunately, yep. none of them are good. So, Nick, I'll ask you <laughs> during the break to think of a few that are to give people some recommendations for the weekend. Because you see everything in advance, but and know, it's also, other people are catching up. National Cinema Day is Sunday. We need to talk about that. Okay. $4 to get into all movies. I love cinnamon. Cinema. Uh, <laughs> cinema. Oh, that's different. Uh, Nick loves the Barbie movie. How many times have you seen it now? Uh, four. Nick DeGiulio has seen it four times. It's yeah. excellent. Excellent. And I went on your recommendation. On my recommendation. Yeah. I loved it. Love, love, loved it. It's um, so cute and so good. Uh, I actually think it's the best movie of the year. Um, so It's so good. Okay. I saw it again yesterday. All right. Let's talk about terrible movies. What's up this weekend? Well, okay. Um, <laughs> well, let's start with, um, let's, I mean, these are, okay. One of them is really terrible, and I'll save that one for last. Okay. Um, but the other two are just kind of, they're based on true stories, and you want them to be good because they're stories that you would like them to be good and true. Okay. okay. Uh, one of them is called Golda, and it's uh, Helen Mirren plays Golda Meir. And um, it uh, covers that period of time during the Yom Kippur War um, that was launched in 1973. Can I just ask a quick question? Why Helen Mirren? Uh, that's, I can think, a question a lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people couldn't find a nice older Jewish lady uh, in Hollywood. Um, I, I guess they couldn't. Uh, and um, yeah, it's 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 weird casting, and she's not very good in it actually, which is hard to believe because wow. it's Helen Mirren. Yeah. Helen Mirren, who by the way narrates Barbie, 
Uh, just wanted yes. to point that out. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so um, she is underneath a lot of like makeup to make her look like Golda Meir, and it's a very, very sloppily made movie um, that within the first five minutes, I was so confused as to what what was happening and who was who, and it was so quickly edited. Well, I mean, it's a complex story. I mean, you have is, to figure out a way right. to tell it where you're not... Well. I don't it, know how you do it. It's even. not told, it's not told very well, but it's about just a specific time in 1973 that like 16 or 17 days when the Yom Kippur War had happened and it was between you know, uh, the Israelis and the Egyptians and the Saudis and, uh, and how she handled it, how she was in charge and the military procedure that took place and what she went through and what she had to do and the negotiation that she had to go through on either sides and also with uh, Henry Kissinger, who by the way is played by Leah Schreiber in this movie. Oh. Um, and so it's about it's a, it's a, it's an absolute mess. It doesn't work. There's no connection to it. You, whatever sort of um, portrayal that they wanted to make of Golda really falls by the wayside. It's really, and she's not very good in it. The best scene in the movie is the only scene that is just between Liev Schreiber and Helen Mirren, and there is no other distractions. It's just those two actors. You know, what time that comes up because I could slip in for that. It happens. Leave. It literally. It, I'm not kidding. It's about an hour. The movie's about an hour and fifty minutes. It's about an hour ten in. All right, I'm playing um, around. So that. there's that. But it's a, it's it's a it's a real disappointment, and it uh, it just doesn't work. And they, they make a really big mistake in this movie because they actually show footage of the real people. Like at uh, one point, they show yeah. footage of of Henry Kissinger. Uh, getting off a plane, and then he walks into a room, and it's Liev Schreiber, and you're like, man, he looks nothing <laughs> yeah. like oh, Henry Kissinger. God, no. And then they make a, a, a the, the the big mistake is late in the movie, they show actual footage of a news conference uh, between Sadat and um and Golda but, Meir, and they show the actual Golda Meir, who in this footage is. So much more like lively and so much more entertaining. And I'm like, I want a documentary. Why am I, wa- why aren't I watching a documentary yeah. about this woman yeah. instead of watching Helen Mirren do a bad job portraying All right, her? Second bad movie of the week? Uh, The Hill. It is a faith it's about Congress? based. No, it's not. <laughs> um, it's a, that would be a horror film. It's sort of a faith based, uh, baseball movie about a guy named Ricky Hill who, when he was a kid, had leg braces on because of a, a spine uh, disorder that he had. And he becomes, a, I don't, I've never heard of him before, but he came. He became a professional baseball player, and it's a true story. Dennis Quaid plays the father, the reverend father, who is against the fact that this kid wants to play baseball. Uh, but then he becomes uh, like a hero, and it's supposed to be this inspiring movie about a kid who overcomes this uh, this spinal uh, disease um, and wearing leg braces. Well, it and should, becomes be, a baseball it should be a fine, uplifting family yeah, it's, film. It's, Was it the part where they say, run, Hill, run? And you're right, and he runs, and he breaks the leg braces off. No, uh, it's it's uh, very heavy-handed, and... Um, uh, it's very cliched, and I don't know the guy's real story, and I'm sure it's inspiring, but the movie certainly isn't, and it's really long. And Dennis Quaid then has gone from the pitcher. Um, remember, he played the old oh, the pitcher rookie. that made the big the rookie. The rookie. Yeah. That was a good movie. And Great now movie. he skipped the manager, and he's gone to the grandfather who doesn't want the kid to play. Well, he's also the uh, preacher. The pastor. Yeah, he's, oh, preacher. The, he's the pastor. Yeah, who, who doesn't want his uh, kid okay. to play baseball? But and, and, and so not very good. But those are both. True stories that should be inspiring and interesting, and neither of them are. And you know what? I, maybe there should be a documentary made about the Hill kid, too, like there should be about Golden oh, Air. Right. But the worst movie of the weekend. Retribution, and this is the latest piece of crap with Liam Neeson uh, in it. You know, here's the thing. I really like Liam Neeson, and I really like him as an actor. I really like him as a dude. Yeah. A few times you I've know, hung out with him, he's a dude. But you can find a category in a genre that's your thing, but at some point you got to say no. Listen, here's the thing. I Taken came out 20 years ago, and we've had nonstop stupid variations yes. on that movie for 20 years. Yeah. And this one is uh, this one is basically speed, and also like there's a movie called Lock with uh, with uh, um, Tom Hardy. And the, the plot of this movie is well, it also reminded me what's the phone booth one where the phone were... booth is another one, yeah, Colin yeah. Farrell, same yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So he gets this oh. weird little call, and he's like, "There's a bomb under your seat in your car." And you have to drive at a certain amount of, you know, you have to con- continue to drive or the bomb is going to go off. I don't know. Have you seen Speed? <laughs> it's the oh, same God. thing. And then and then it turns into like phone booth and a combination of all these things. And it's Liam Neeson. Like, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. The lesson that must be learned in watching all of these unbelievably stupid Liam Neeson movies that he continues to make. And most of them have one word titles and they all suck. 
is that don't marry him and don't have children with him. That's that's the thing. Because they're going to get kidnapped or they're going to get blown up or there's, he's going to have to, I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you and I, I have a certain bunch of a, skills. I have like, a shut very up. specific set of skills and it's not script Just picking. get out of the car. No. Don't take and, and, you know, I, remember when, I remember when Taken came out. And I was like, Liam Neeson, because Liam Neeson was, you know, serious actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Schindler's List, all this stuff, very serious. And I remember when Taken came out, it was supposed to go straight to video. When Taken came out, it was supposed to go straight to video. And he'll tell that story. And then they just released it on a lark. And then it turned out to be great. And Taken's a great movie. Yeah. The first one, the other 90 right. suck. Right, right. And then they just keep making the same crap over and over again. And this one is just, it's speed it's phone booth. It's lock. It's 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 again. It's the same nonsense that uh, it's. I will say this: it's not as bad as the last one he did. That black light. It's not as oh, bad man. as that. Okay. I just looked at the, the what a great pro- way to get you to spend fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah. I just looked at the promo for that. It said this time better gas mileage. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much really? it. That's it. But by yeah. the way, um, okay. So, but, <laughs> but uh, it is National Cinema Day Sunday. All right. What is it? National Cinema Day is four bucks. You know, to oh, cool. every theater, every format, every movie. What do you mean? Every movie theater? Yes. Oh, every four chain? bucks. Yes. Regal, oh. AMC, all the big chains, four dollars. You're there kidding. You Even the ones no. with the reclining seats. There you uh, go. Every seats. theater, every movie, every format, IMAX, all of them, four bucks. Is this a new thing? It started two years ago. And it gets popular. It gets more popular. Last year it was huge. Four dollars. That's huge. Four. It's. That is huge. I mean, it's. It's. I mean, it's. You know, two thirds less than what it costs to get into a movie. It's four dollars. Well, I know what I'm not so going to go see. Get your get your tickets now. You know, you can go uh, see Barbie. You, you can see Barbie is out there. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I like. That's oh, <laughs> Birth Rebirth. Birth Rebirth, which is like a, a great horror movie that's out right now. And there's there's great stuff out there. Look in the theaters. Um, and, but, but seriously, uh, Regal, AMC, the big, uh, the other big, uh, chains, they're all doing it just one day only, every showtime, every format, every movie, $4. Oh, that's great. On and, Sunday. Uh, national, National Cinema Day is this Sunday. We don't have time to do a blatant plug for it now, but our friend John DeCoss is in a movie which is coming out and it's going to be at the, uh, one of the theaters four in town for a couple four weeks. Bucks? It's Thick not worth it's four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's supposed to be good. It really is. Popcorn is a nickel that day. It's supposed to be good. Stop being that way. No, it's 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 I'm just this. a part of it, but it's uh, yeah, it's supposed to be good. Yeah, it's supposed, it's to, supposed be. to be good. We'll see. Oh, I'll wait would, for Nick to see. I would recommend. Okay, here here's one I can recommend. Uh, if if you if you don't mind uh, body bad language and really tasteless humor and really horrible language uh, coming out of the mouths of dogs, you should go see Strays. I laughed. My, <laughs> oh, that was I cute. laughed my butt off. Yeah, I was that hoping that would be funny. I yeah. I'm good. telling you, good. and it's completely tasteless, and it will offend everybody, and that's why it's awesome. Thank you, grandmother. Four bucks Sunday. Four bucks. <laughs>